So this is the phenomenon that's of fundamental interest to me, speaking. Um, I'm especially interested in how we manage this feat of skilled action in real time. Uh, so this is a real time MRI is what I'm going to show you. Um, these are taken and produced by this uh, group at the University of Southern California. It's, a, it's quite a feat of engineering. I think there's a group in Germany that does it as well, um, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, I think it gives you a good sense of, of what's interesting, hopefully or at least one aspect of it. Let's see if I can get it to play. So I want you to just to pay attention uh, to this is, what you're seeing, of course, is a person speaking in the mid-sagittal plane. So you have the, the jaw that's quite evident there. You can see his teeth easily. Um, you see the tongue moving around, just jumping around. That's what we do when we talk. Tongue just jumps around like crazy. You'll see that his jaw is moving up and down a um, fair bit. The lips kind of irregularly, but it's doing work as well. Um, there's other parts of the system that I haven't described for you, but the larynx is going to be very important. This part here that you'll see jumping up and down as well. The tongue is perhaps the most dramatic, right? It's the craziest movement. So. Um, what happens in speech is all of these so-called articulators, and these also include breathing, okay? So we're going to uh, focus here just on what we call the supraglottal articulators. Those are the articulators above the larynx. Uh, that's what you're seeing in this video. Uh, we time the movements of all these independent articulators, movers, we time them perfectly to go together to create speech sound. Right? Uh, the estimate that was given years and years ago um, by Lennonberg uh, was that we speak at a rate of 14 phonemes, which is equivalent to what we can consider these speech sounds, 14 phonemes per second. So that jumping around you saw, this is all in service of producing uh, these individual uh, speech sounds at a, at a very high rate. Um, so with that in mind, um, I'll tell you just uh, right now why Yamira. Um, as as um, is indicated on my paper there, I actually am here thanks to a fellowship from the European Institutes for Advanced Studies. Um, so this is the Urius Fellowship. And I chose Emia um, because of my colleagues at the Laboratoire Parole et Langage um, who focus on this, um, very often this, uh, more the spoken aspect of language, uh, namely rhythm and intonation, uh, who has expertise in, say, speech motor control, who have collaborations with neuropsychology. Um, uh, and also because of this larger group uh, known uh, here in French as BLRI, BLRI, so the Brain uh, and Language Research Institute, which is comprised of many, many laboratories, all of which are here uh, in the ex marseille uh, region. So I look forward to interacting with you all and, of course, to meeting all my colleagues um, and interacting quite a bit with uh, people at these places. So thank, thank you. you very much.